folks. How are you in this absolutely fantastic day? So this is going to be the first worksheet, really, of the entire school year. Um, and so we're going to start off a little bit further down the line than you might think. This is actually page 15. Um, so I, the reason, I'm not going to go into the reasons of why I chose this particular one, but this is going to work out pretty well for us today. So what we're going to do is you should already have page 15 torn out of your green book. And you should already have your name at the top, like Mr. Brown is doing right now. And we're going to take this one slow step at a time. Because when we multiply things times 10, or when we divide things by 10, two very different things end up happening. And so I want to show you on this why it happens. Like I, like I could just very simply say to you, oh, okay, the number 32, if you multiply it by 10, you just take a 32 and you add a zero to it. And then for the number 4,200, if I divide it by 10, you just take a zero away. And that's fine for knowing that rule, right? 32 with a zero after it, 4,200 turns into 420 because we took a zero away. Oh, that's fine. But this kind of shows us why that happens. And there's going to be a lot of dots and there's going to be a lot of things like that. So one of the things we're going to notice first is that this place value chart is blank. So we're going to fill this in together. Now, you'll notice, starting with the word ones, and everything that I do, you need to do. Okay, So everything that I write down, you make sure that you do this. And these are pretty small little spaces. The other thing I will say this is pause this video as many times as you possibly need so that you can keep up with what I'm doing. If I'm going too quickly, pause it or rewind it a tiny bit. Do whatever you need to do. It's your video. Use it as you need to. Okay? There's enough room for the word ones. There's enough room for the word tens. The word hundreds is we're getting a little bit tricky with the word hundreds. And if you're having difficulty with, if you write big, you can stop at the word hund, H-U-N-D. If you have enough room where you really want to put hundreds, that's fine. But yeah, as you can see, it's already getting tight with space. Ones, tens, hundreds, what comes next? That's right, thousands. Now again, if you're a big writer and if your letters are big, stop with the word thou. And if you have enough room for the word thousands, well, it's right there. But I have to, but I write kind of big too, so I just write the word thou. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands is what comes next. So I'm writing the ten up there and my abbreviation for thousands there. Again, if you want to be, uh, you know, fancy about it and you, ha and you write small, go ahead, cram the whole thing in. It's fine with me. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. What comes next? That's right, hundred thousands. Now again, ah boy, they don't give you a lot of room. So I'm just putting hun thou. But you know what I mean. You know that hun thou stands for hundred thousand. Does anybody what knows what comes after the hundred thousands place? That's right, it's the millions. M I L L I O N S. That's the millions place. It's the millions place. So <clears throat> Again, pause it as many times you need to. So now we're doing this thing uh, where we're starting off with 2,000s, right? And then we're multiplying it by 10. So let me see if I can get a little bit closer here without messing things up. Oh, good. We're starting off with 2,000s. So let's, let's do that. Let's start off with two dots in the thousands place, 2,000s. But then we're multiplying it by 10. Okay, so we're going to show you why that little trick happens, right? How you get from here to here, right? There's a and, and how and why that happens, okay? So we're going to each of these we're multiplying, each of these thousands we're multiplying by 10. So where it used to be one dot, it is now going to be a total of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
okay? So we, so another way where you could put this is um, 20 thousands, which yeah, okay, you could put, so 10 times two thousands is 20 thousands. Yeah, that, that kind of works. But here's the thing. Um, have you ever done the cha-cha slide? Raise your hand if you've ever done the cha-cha slide. Me, 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 me. So what, sometimes when you do, do cha-cha slides, you have to slide to the left, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to do something called bundling, like packing a bag, right? Like what Kevin McAllister in Home Alone didn't know how to do. He didn't know how to pack a bag. So we're going to bundle up all of these Te uh, all of these tens, and we're going to make it, we're going to slide, just like the cha-cha slide, we're going to slide to the left and just put one dot right here. So now we're going to pretend like that's not there anymore because we're multiplying it by 10. This is times 10, right? That 1,000, we multiplied it by 10, it turned into that, and then we packed up all these dots and we're sliding to the left. And we do it to the other one too. We're going to pack all this up. This is called bundling. And we're going to put another one over here. Okay. Now this is now how many, so we used to have 20 under the thousands. But now another way we could say that is we can have two under the 10 thousands. Now again, I know that two Ten thousands is not the way we normally say numbers. Hey, how much? Uh, you know, yeah. How much you want me to? How much you want for that car? Oh, two ten thousands. Like people don't say that. I know that. People would say twenty thousand, right? People would more so without the s. That's how we normally say numbers. We're gonna get into like different forms of numbers in another lesson for sure. But this shows you why we do what we do. Why this turns into this. And this is, this is why. And it's called bundling. And we take it and we slide to the left. Now, sometimes when you do a worksheet with Mr. Brown, <clears throat> believe it or not, I don't have time to do every single example. So we're going to do something that I like to call a gentle X. We did example 1A, but we are not going to do 1B. So look how gentle and light my X is. Notice I'm not going uh, like this. I'm not doing that. I'm not going uh, like that. It's a gentle X, one big X, because we're still going to do the one underneath it. So we don't want to make it too big. So I give you permission to cross out example B and move down to the bottom. Now, whereas before we were multiplying by 10, we are now dividing by 10, right? And again, we know the rule, right? If it was, I don't know, this is, this is not this, but like, let's say if it was like, you know, 700. And if you divide by 10, you take a zero away. So 700 turns into 70. But again, we want to see why we, why we happen. So the dots and stuff are kind of just showing us what's going on here and why we're doing this, okay? So we're gonna start off with four now again to be honest with you if if you want to what i would like you to maybe do is actually this i want you to pause the video and rewrite every single one up here you're gonna rewrite it down there okay i'm just gonna do it really quickly right now ones tens hund thou ten thou hun thou and mil Okay, you pause the video, take your time to do that, because I just rushed and I did it really messy. Don't do it messy, take your time, okay, and do that. So pause the video. Okay, we're back. We're starting off with four thousands. So we're gonna put four dots under the thousands place. But remember, we're not multiplying by 10. We're not gonna be adding a whole bunch of dots underneath this. We're gonna be dividing by 10. So over here, the cha-cha slide told us to slide to the left, slide to the left. Multiplication by 10 gives us slide to the left. This time, we're actually going to slide to the ra 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 right. We're actually going to slide to the right. Okay, And this time, we're going to not bundle, which means pack it all up. and We're actually going to un 
bundle. You don't have to write the word un. But un means the opposite of, right? Unbundle. So we're going to take this and we're going to make, instead we're gonna make unbundle it over here and we're gonna make 40, I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Pause the video if you have to. We're making 40 dots. Pause it if you need to. Do whatever you got to do. But we're making 40 dots. This is actually called unbundling. Okay? Where we're actually going to slide over to the right to the place value that's the lesser value. We're going from thousands to hundreds. Whereas before we went to a greater value. Thousands to ten thousands. And so you might think, well, okay. How it, this is the same darn thing, Mr. Brown. Aren't these just equal to each other? Isn't 40 hundreds and 10, that, like, isn't that the same thing? I don't get it. Right? This doesn't make any sense. So how are we going to show um, four thousands, all right, and how are we going to show it from there to, to four hundreds? Right, because that's the right you drop a zero when you divide by 10, right? When you divide by 10. How are we going to show that here? Well, we're going to sort of, we're going to group these in a different way. See how if we go the opposite way? Uh, okay. This is showing how we're grouping them in a different way. This is the bundling. You notice how it's going like uh, vertically? like this and you're packing it up and you're making it a greater value this you're shoving it down to the rah 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 right and you're unbundling and you're grouping them in a different way right so one of these groups is 400 one of these groups is 400 okay I know this is a little weird I know this is a little complicated Mr. Brown why can't we just stick to just do this 4,000 take away, that's 400, okay? Why can't we just, you know, stick to the times 10? I know. I know it's a lot, but this, is, this shows us why we do the things that we do. And that's the thing that's really, Eureka Math is really all about. It's showing us not just the rules, but why the rules exist, okay? So I get to flip your paper over whenever you're ready. We're not gonna do this entire page because I really don't have time for it. But what I will say is this. Um, we'll do a few. Okay, so circle the number two. Okay. I'm going to collect these two. I want, I want these to be seen, so please make sure you've got your name on it because we're going to look at these. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. <coughs> so, okay. Um, let's start with the first one. Ten times six. Now, now, thank goodness there's no dots. Yay. No dots. There's no dots in bundling. We're just, we're just doing it. You know what I'm saying? So if we put a parenthesis around 10 times 6, who can say what 10 times 6 is? I can, I can, I can. It's 60. So are you saying 10 times 6 tens is the same as 60 tens? Yes, because 10 times 6 is 60, 60 tens. Now, people don't say 60 tens in the real world. Come on. They'd be like, oh, how much? Well, it's really expensive. How much did it cost? Oh, 60 tens. Come on. Nobody says that. What's another way of six, 60 tens? Well, let's see. If we multiply six tens, which is 60, if we multiply it by 10, you just add a zero to it. Let's put a little smiley face on that zero. We say 600, don't we? That standard form is the normal, typical way that we say things. Unit form is not. Capiche? So, moving on. Seven hundreds times ten. Well, what's seven times ten? Well, it's seventy. Seven times ten is seventy. So instead of saying seven hundreds times ten, you can say seventy hundreds. Now again, Mr. Brown, no one says seventy hundreds. Nobody says that. The unit form is not the way we normally say numbers. Standard form is. Okay. So would you say what? What if we just do this, Mr. Brown? What if we just write a 700 right here? 
And then when you multiply something by 10, you do what? Do you add a zero or do you take a zero away? That's right. You add a zero. Don't forget about that comma from your llama, right? One, two, three, comma. Remember, I've said it 100 times and I'll say it 100 times more. Pause the video as often as you need to to get caught up. I know I'm going kind of quick, but I've got a lot to cover and we're already 15 minutes in. So <clears throat> we're not going to do every single one, okay? Um, let's go to the next one and maybe we can stop right there. Maybe. Now, what do you notice different about the next one? What do you notice? How is it different? Look, it's dividing by 10. So this one is dividing by 10, right? So let's skip over this for now. Go right over to here. Three thousands, three thousand. Now, no, Mr. Brown, you're not putting a comma. Well, fine, I'm just gonna erase it later. Whenever we divide by 10, remember we talked about this? What do you do to the zero? That's right, you take a zero away. Three thousands divided by 10, cross it out. Now I'm gonna have to get rid of that comma. Ugh, that's why I didn't wanna add it in the first place. So three thousands divided by 10 equals 300. Or in unit form, it would be you put an S on the end of everything. I don't know why, you just do. Because, well, I, I do know why. So it's 300s in unit form, okay? So here's what we're going to do. Make sure that every single thing that I have down here, you have done. And to prove that you've watched this video all the way to the end, I want you to draw a hamburger at the very bottom of the page, above where it says Eureka Math. Draw me a picture of a hamburger right here. And when I'm looking at your papers later and I see a picture of a hamburger, I know that you, did, you watched the entire thing and you didn't skip. Okay, that's our, little, that's our little secret between me and you, okay? So, we're gonna stop there. Don't X out anything though, leave it. And I'm going to collect, I want this to be collected and we're gonna read this later. So listen folks, you did a fantastic job. I know it's a lot, it's a lot, okay? But we'll get through this together, all right? And the reason why we do all this crazy stuff right here is so that you get an understanding as to why these rules exist. Okay, have a wonderfully fantastic day. Good job everybody, and I'll see you in a little bit. Bye-bye.